Hello YouTubers, today I am going to be showing you how to get static docklets on your rocket dock. Alright, you need a piece of software that will extract the dock, um, the file once you download it. Uh, I'm going to be using WinRAR because it is in a, in a RAR format, so just give me a quick sec to install that. As you'll see, I have a lot of crap saved onto my little pen drive. Yeah, this has been a little irritating. Uh, pause. The computer froze. Uh, there we go. WinRAR. So just download WinRAR, WinRAR, install it. Mm, that's pretty funny, whatever. Yeah, I just use WinRAR and then at the end of my trial I just delete it. <laughs> Install it again. Alright, once that's done, we're off to uh, download the docklet. Now we'll just get into the Firefox. And up here, we will type in Rocket Dock. Oops. Hi. Oopsie. Hold on just a sec, I forgot the K. There we go. And once you get to this website, you will see these few buttons up here. Just go to get add-ons. And once you get here, click on Docklets. Now you will just scroll down and look for the docklet. I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but just follow along. Command prompt docklet, don't need that. You might want to check this out because they have a lot of cool stuff. A turn on button. I mean, shut off button for your docklet, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna get that later. It's pretty dope. Uh, log out docklet. Hold on just a sec. Mm, there it is. Stacks docklet. Now, once you get to this, you just go right down to here and click download file and then just open with WinRAR now yeah, buy it later and here just minimize this for now and then close this, you don't need that anymore and once you got this what you're going to do here, just click on it, drag and drop on your desktop, and close it. You don't need that anymore. Okay, now follow along, because now we got to go to the Rocket Dock file. Now you go to my computer, or computer, you know, whatever you're using, XP or Vista, click on your C drive, open that up and go to program files then you will scroll down and find rocket dock right here and you see this one right here it says docklets you're gonna have to just drag this in to the docklets I'm not going to do that just yet because I don't have the administrator account. I have to take ownership of this. Now, if you don't have ownership of this file either, you might want to do this. Just follow along, go to properties, right click on the folder, and then go to properties. Then click on security. Once you get here, you will go to advanced. Then you go to owner. Then we'll go here to edit. 
get the user account control thingy okay now here I'll just click on my account and then I'll hit apply see and then you get this is it okay 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 oops I shouldn't have pressed okay and then if you did it's alright just right click on the docklet again go properties security and then we'll look for I mean and then you'll hit on edit then you go to add then just type in your username if my name sucks don't laugh at me hit ok then click allow full control apply sure why not now all you gotta do is just drag it to the docklet and you're doing what's in there once it is in there just close that close that now once you right click uh, we'll put it right here you right click and it says add item you will see this uh, start docklet Hey, where is it at? Oh, damn, hold on. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Alright, now as you can see, when I go to add items to stack docklets. Now, since I paused the video, I didn't show you what I did. I apologize. I'll just go back to where we were. Stack docklets and rocket dock. Go right here. You open docklets. And then you'll drag it in. As you can see, mine is right there. And close it. You don't need that anymore. Now, when you go here to add an item, just click on Add Item and Stack Docklets. You're going to get this empty folder like that. Oh. Oof, empty folder. Then you would just go to icon settings and click the folder you want it to be. I'm gonna choose pictures. Wow, I got a lot of pictures. Um, my documents. There we go. Just my documents. I'm just gonna use my documents. I like that. Okay. Then I'm going to select an icon in my documents. <laughs> okay. And I would want them to come out as a fan. See, so once I click on that, it does that. It's pretty cool, huh? See? You can also do a grid. So if I were to go to icon settings, change this to grid, and then click on the icon and it'll open up as a grid pretty cool now I don't like having icons like this on my dock I use it just for applications and throw it out <laughs> and it's gone yeah so that's basically rocket dock I apologize for that little mistake I made it's no biggie no biggie so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed um hope it's helpful to some if you guys like my videos, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like. Uh, you don't have to, but if you'd like. <laughs> and thanks for watching. See ya.